Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about the characteristics of a million dollar speaker and what makes you that million dollar speaker. And I have a million dollar speaker with me today, and that is my dear friend, Carol Feely. Carol is an empower, empowerment coach, and she really, really has the power to change people's lives. So welcome, Carol. Welcome to the podcast. Well, Arby, I am so excited to be here today, talking to you especially. Yes. Awesome. So let's get going. So you are a speaker. You've been a speaker for a while now. You've seen other speakers. You've been on stages. So tell me, what do you think makes a million dollar speaker? Well, I feel like making you a million dollar speaker is first you have to work on the inside of yourself. And I am really good at creating some great habits for my life that are a no compromise. Excellent. All right. So that's good. So we're going to talk uh, more about that and expand on that. But first, why don't you tell the listeners how you became the empowerment coach that you are today? Well, thank you for that question, because it was a really fun journey. When uh, I was in working with preschool, I got an invitation to go to Toastmasters. And I found out I love talking about personal growth workshop things. And I started going to events, to workshops. And it was inside those workshops that I found my passion to be the empowerment coach. And the reason they call me empowerment coach, because I'm kind of a daredevil. So I've done a lot of daring things. And that's what I teach my clients to do some daring things so that they can have the life they want. Let's talk about those daring things. You dare to be bold and you are courageous. So tell us some of those courageous, daring things, activities that you have done. Well, you're talking to a girl that used to be even afraid to ride on Disneyland rides, but I started doing little things like zip lining, parasailing, to ultimately doing the elite skydiving. And I, I'm just a girl that really wants to get rid of her fear. And the only way that you can do that is do what you fear. Do it anyway. Fear it, feel it, and do it anyway. We well, said right. something about zip lining. And I remember the first time I, well, I only went once and I probably will not go again because I'm not courageous in physical activities as much as you are. But the first time I did zip lining, it was in, uh, it was in Jamaica actually. And uh, we, you know, they part, partner you up, which is fine. It was a dear friend of mine. And, but I remember that very first zip line, I'm like screaming and praying right in this girl's ear. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, save me. Save me. Right. And then I get off and I think that that's it. Right. No, I have six more or seven more to go, right? I'm like, oh my God. Right. <laughs> well, by the time I was done though, we were, you know, we didn't have to do partners anymore. We, we could do it alone. And by the time I was done, I'll tell you, I was going, woohoo, yippee, woohoo. And I didn't want it to end. So there's something to say for, do, you know, fear it, do it, and do it anyway. Because as long as it's not dangerous, you can have a lot of fun. And that really changed my whole outlook on zip lining. And yeah. you know, if I had it to do again, I probably would still wouldn't do it. <laughs> I know. I remember I remember when I was on the edge, I'm like, we were walking up these steps, these long steps, and you didn't want to walk the walk of shame. So I'm like, you have to jump. And they didn't you, you couldn't just scooch off. You actually had to jump. And I was just like you. As soon as I j jumped, they said you could take your one hand off and swing. I didn't think I would be able to do that, and I did. I'm like, woo, I did it. And I had four more zips to go, and they were so much fun. Yes, they were. So let's talk more about some, okay, so you do, you've done a lot of daring activities. Now, tell us a little bit about what have you gotten your clients to do, and how have you gotten them to be bold in their own skin? I mean, do you push them off a cliff? What do you do? Yeah, well, we really start working with habits first. I ask them what kind of habits they have, morning routines they have now. And that really tells me a lot about where they're at. And so we really work together and design a morning routine just for them. And my one client, she was a little bit overweight and she really wanted to start exercising. It was a little bit hard for her at first. So 
but as she started getting into it, she got a little bit stronger. But now, after probably about four or five months, now she's climbing the mountains of California. She found out what works for her and she loves the hike. And wow. she will tell you if she was here, it was because of her morning routine. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's talk a little bit more about a morning routine. And I know you, because I think that is a characteristic of a million dollar speaker is they do million dollar routines and activities and right. they make them consistent. Consistent is key in anything. So tell right. us like one of the routines, I know a few of yours that you've done in the past, but tell us one wild uh, routine and habit that you did and how long you did it. Well, the one habit I think if there of all the habits that I do would be thankful list, writing 10 things that you're thankful for, for every day. And the key thing there is every single day and writing them down. You know, you can't be bitter and be better at the same time. And it really sets your day, your tone for the day when you do that. So I think that would be the very powerful one to always implement for people. I like that you can't be, what'd you say, bitter and bitter better, and better at the better same better. time same time i love that but but one of the routines that i want you to share is like the one where that you, you know that you got from your morning grind group and you said you you couldn't for first thing in the morning you can't look at your cell phone because that's what most people do i know right. i'm guilty i'm looking at the time um but then you know i might go on to social media but no no snooze no uh yeah. so what tell us what those five yeah things. and then give a positive note to somebody uh you know a text to somebody and smile in the mirror for two minutes that one's really powerful hey, been, yeah you smile in the mirror just like oh. that for two minutes oh it, wow you no know, see i wake up with energy because i also i go to bed at a reasonable time but i do get up early i get up about 4 30 every morning but it's what happens is when you get these habits, they become lifestyles. So now it's a no brainer. I don't have to think about them. And the reason that is good because now you don't have to expend so much energy because they all come automatically. You know, we have a lot of habits that are automatic anyway, but let's make sure they're good habits. Right, so you get up at 4.30, but what time do you go to bed? Like eight o'clock or something? I do, I go to bed at pr probably around 8.30. And uh -huh. I have gone to bed later, but you know, if I'm, you know, busy doing things, but well, usually not that's really about much me. that goes on after eight, except television anyway. So, right, right. Uh, yeah, so that's really good. All right. So now, Carol, I know you have an event coming up. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the event and how somebody could uh, join you if they wanted to? Oh, great. Well, we're going to be bold. Our We're going to decide to be bold is what I love to do. So it's going to be uh, Mondays, from 4.30 to 5.30 Pacific time, we are going to deep dive in your belief system, being open to opportunities. We're going to go see how you can leap into action. And the last one is you are going to dominate. Woo! Dom yeah, it's it's action-packed, content-rich, and we're going to do a lot of engaging. So we're going to do it as close as possible to even a live event. All right. And it's called, what is it called? Be bold and rock your world. Awesome. Be bold and rock your world. Yes, be bold and rock your world. All right, so Carol, how do people get in touch with you if they want to join you? Because I know you're going to do this um, more than just this once, but it's a four-week course every Monday uh, for four weeks, and it's one hour, and there's going to be an intimate group, and you're going to have exercises and stories, and you're really going to come out of there feeling rejuvenated and alive and bold. All right? So tell them how, how they get a hold of you and grab that class, grab their seat. What you, how you can get a hold of me is carolfeelyempowerment.com, or you can look me up on Facebook, Carol Feely. And All right. Really and Feely is spelled F-E-E-L-E-Y. -E -E Right. Make sure we got that right. All right, Carol. Well, it's been so cool having you on the show. Really, really love your boldness and you stepping out into your own power. So is there anything else you would like to leave our listeners with today? Well, I just like to say, just be consistent. That word is a little bit vague, but when I, when I say consistent, every single day, you do something every single day and you want to shift one thing, it will happen. 
Amen. Amen, sister. All right. Well, that's our, our podcast for today. Do, turn, bleh, do to, tune in for next time. I'm so excited. Do, do come back next time. We'll see you all <laughs> back here later. Bye-bye.